The Easter holiday always brings families together for great meals and tasty desserts. Joining me today with some great recipes and ideas for entertaining is celebrity chef and food writer Jennifer Chandler. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, thanks for having me today. It is my pleasure because I'm really excited. We are coming up on Easter. And what are some of your favorite Easter traditions that we can, you know, use too? Well, one of my favorite Easter traditions is one that I do with my girls. Every year we have an Easter egg hunt, and after the Easter egg hunt, we go home, and we get in the kitchen together, and we make deviled eggs from our Easter eggs. It's something the girls and I look forward to every year, and I have to tell you, on Easter Sunday, it is so cute to see my girls proudly walking around <laughs> the party displaying their deviled eggs. Well, and you know, we make these eggs, we color them, and then everyone wants to know, what do we do with all of them? This is a great idea. I know. Exactly. Well, that's that's how we actually started that tradition. We had all of these hard-boiled eggs, and what were what were we going to do with them? So I found a way to make a memory for my family. Well, your books are titled always simply, simply suppers, simply salads. I love that word, you know, especially when we're talking about kitchens. <laughs> how can we so, make our? I agree with you. How can we make that Easter dinner more simple? Well, I'm always looking for recipes that are simple to prepare but have lots of flavor and look like I spent hours in the kitchen. And this creamy herb Dijon chicken recipe I'd love to show you today is just one that fits that bill. So what I do is I take boneless, skinless chicken breasts and I brown them in a skillet. It takes about 15 minutes to have them cooked through. And then for the sauce, I take cream cheese and I add a little bit of chicken stock. And one of the things I always tell people, if you're looking for time-saving tips, Use things like boxed chicken stock. It's a great way to save time. A little bit of garlic and fresh herbs. You know, spring is here, so you can find some fresh herbs in the market, or you can have some growing in your garden. There's chives, parsley, basil. Use whatever is your favorite. And then my secret ingredient for this sauce is Dijon mustard. You know, most of the time people think about mustards and they think about sandwiches, but I found that mustards are a great way to add flavor to all my dishes. And I have to tell you about this great find I found at the grocery the other day. I'm always one to share great finds. And I found that French's now has a Dijon mustard. And it's made with Chardonnay wine, which I found really balances out the flavor. Okay, now my sauce is all whisked together. Now, do you think you could do this at home? Yeah, actually, I could. <laughs> it could. It couldn't be any simpler. And so what I do is I take my sauce and I pour it over my cooked chicken breast and I'm going to let it simmer for about five more minutes until my sauce is thickened and all the flavors have come together. So in less than 30 minutes, I have this delicious full flavor dish that I can serve my guests on Easter Sunday. That does look delicious. Does look delicious. Any other shortcuts for the holiday? Because, you know, with people gathering and everything, it's really hard to try to entertain and make the meal at the same time. Well, for entertaining, casseroles are a great way to go. I have my easy cheesy mac and cheese, which gets a lot of extra cheesiness from using a can of condensed cheddar cheese soup. And for a little extra zing, I add some yellow mustard. And then, you know, a tradition in our family for holidays is the green bean casserole with French fried onions. It's a great way to add flavor to a dish. And both of these can be made in advance and then have them in your oven when your guests are coming in the door. You can have it. That's in you could make the mac and cheese in advance? Well, I mean, you can do all the prep work a couple of hours in advance, and then you pop it in your oven about 30 minutes before your guests are due to arrive. These are great ideas. Same with the green bean casserole. Mm -hmm. And then salads. Salads are a great way to entertain. This is a Cobb salad. Again, when we talked about those Easter eggs, how do you use them up? Hard-boiled eggs in this Cobb salad. It has bacon, blue cheese, and I even threw some French fried onions in here, you know, that I had for my green bean casserole to add a little bit of flavor and crunch. Dressing, so simple to prepare. Honey mustard and mayonnaise. Couldn't be any easier. But it looks fancy, but was a cinch to make. Jennifer, this is great. Where can we get some more ideas and recipes? More recipes are available at Frenches.com as well as my website, cookwithjennifer.com. Well, thank you for cooking with us today, Jennifer. Nice to talk with you. Well, thanks for having me, and happy Easter. You too. That's the dinner. now.